So it was the year 2001 and I am feeling unstoppable. I mean, I'm feeling like any goal I set for myself, I can attain it. Uh, so I remember a few years back in 1986, I was inspired by the great Byron Allen and all of the work he was doing behind the scenes. Um, he owned several TV shows and networks, but he seemed to be at that time like really working under the radar. At least that's what it appeared to me. And uh, when I learned of this, it really inspired me to want to have my own talk show. Even Montel Williams was a huge inspiration for me as well as he hosted his own show, The Montel Williams Show. So, first thing on a Monday morning, as the scintillating sunshine tiptoed across my face, I contacted AT&T's cable TV station in Hollywood, and I attended a free uh, training session on how to produce my own show using uh, their affiliate uh, network. And so, uh, you know, and boom, I, I created my own show. I wrote, produced, recruited all the talent, up and coming talent, in fact. Here's a few, a few friends of the show. I'm reading this, I wanna make sure I get this right. You know, when you accept an award, you don't wanna leave anybody out. Uh, so Amanda Swiston, she was a Maxim model and uh, starred in the TV shows Las Vegas, Two and a Half Men, and Joey. These are either great co-star or guest star roles. Heidi Wanzer, she used to be a backup singer on tour with Morris Day and the Time. And she did uh, the films Doughboys, 513, and See Dick Run with Kel Mitchell. Darlene Tijero, she booked Bones, Ugly Betty, NYPD Blue, and Criminal Minds. A.J. Johnson, uh, Baby Boy, Chicago Hope, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, House Party, and Sister Act. Davika Parikh, The West Wing, Grey's Anatomy, NCIS, Aquaman, and series regular on Kings of Napa. Brooke Kerr, CSI Miami, Hawaii Five-0, Westworld, and series regular uh, uh, to this day on General Hospital. So uh, these were some of the friends of the show and they, they just were gracious with their time. Uh, I even had the, the great Muhammad Ali's oldest daughter uh, and oldest child, May May Ali, visit the show. Uh, she had, uh, actually she took my commercial course and uh, she, she decided to do, help me do my show and some other things uh, transpired. She has a group of children that she works with, at-risk youth, and I came to speak to them. Uh, so that was really, a, a, really an awesome experience with Muhammad's daughter, May May Ali. I even had his young wife, Veronica, on the show, but um, I, I don't know what happened to that footage. In fact, I'm still looking for it. That footage ended up somewhere and I, I still want to find it but yeah Muhammad's uh, young wife Veronica was on the show I, I knew I could do it people would ask me how did you get all those actors to do your show well I would meet them at the gym or on an audition and I would introduce myself and after a little small talk on different occasions, I would just ask him, hey, you know, I have my own show, the Mike Pointer Show, and I'd like for you to be a guest on it. And they would say, yeah, sure, right? And they didn't ask me for any money or, oh, my time is expensive or whatever. They saw me as a young man that was trying to do something productive with his life and, uh, and they helped me out. And so I'll always be grateful to them for being generous with their time. So after that success, um, you know, having my own talk show and I'm excited about it and I'm scheduling more guests, uh, I wanted to become a host 
uh, or, or a media personality. And so I managed to leverage my relationship with AT&T and I ended up getting some press credentials and uh, to do red carpet events. And I did red carpet events at uh, the VH1 Movie Awards, uh, the Clumps, movie premiere party, Gold's Gym anniversary party, the MTV Music Awards, and uh, different events that they would have at the House of Blues on Sunset in Hollywood. And so uh, that was a great experience for me. Things got busy in other areas of my life, and I decided to kind of put that on the shelf for a minute, but I am looking to return uh, to revamp and revitalize my um, my guest hosting and my own talk show. That's coming up in the future. All right, so what's next, Mike? Next, I want to share with you some interesting and even bizarre experiences uh, I've had over the years. I think out of all my episodes, this one is the most exciting or or even bizarre, so uh, stay tuned.